Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on utilizing the Django CMS styling to style our Django admin and these are just a few screenshots that you can see here of how the layout will look and how this theme is applied so let's get started. All right so what we want to do first of all is just ensure you have a simple Django project up and running and once you've got that set, you can go on ahead and install the following library. So I'm going to copy that. And we can go to our terminal. You just want to say pip install Django CMS dash admin dash style. Okay, so let's wait for this to be installed. There we go. And we're good to go. Now we need to follow the instructions here. So we've gone ahead and installed CMS. Now we need to add CMS to our list of installed apps. So make sure that you just add it before django.contrib.admin. So we can go ahead and get the following and go to our settings.py file. And let's go to our list of installed apps. So again, make sure that it is above. So I'm just going to get my quotes ready, paste that in. And there we go. So we've got that set. Now we can run our migration. So I don't believe this is something that's always necessary, but let's just do it. So we can say Python manage.py and we can just say migrate. Okay, and that's fine. So we can clear that up. Now we can just create a super user quickly to access the Django admin. So we can say Python manage.py create super user. I'm just going to say admin, enter in a password. Okay, let's run our server again. Okay, great. Now we can go put in forward slash admin. And there we have it, Django CMS. So this is quite a unique sort of style that's set up on the admin here. We can see we've got a sort of a nice layout in regards to a nice dark button, a very prominent and dark box here that says Django CMS. So now let's go ahead and enter in our credentials. All right, so once we've entered in our credentials, let's go ahead and log in. And here we are. That is how you can go ahead and set up Django CMS. So let's just have a bit of a run through here with what we are working with. So of course we can see here we have any registered models that appear here. So this is the default one from authentication authorization. We have our user model. Let's go ahead and select that. Okay, we can see we've got that selected. And what I want to do is just zoom out a tad bit here to the default and we can see here, we can see everything on the left hand side and let's say add user. Okay, and we can see we've got this default sort of dock mode that has been enabled. So let's do a test and just add in a user here. All right, so as soon as you added it in your user, you can scroll down. And as you probably saw, we can see we have some information just um, telling us about the password requirements, let's say save. Okay, get our notification message here. We can also see the history here. So what were the changes that were made and such. Let's go back to the home page. Here on the home and we can see here on the right hand side all those actions. Now let's say you wanted to sign out, you would click here on Django administration here and here you can log out of the admin, change your password of course. And we can see we can do that easily. Let's go back and we can log out here or if you want to go to your web page you can right click and open that link in a new tab that's going to open up your website now of course once you set up your website you're going to see here open and then a domain name if you set up that particular domain name you'll see it will just appear here okay so we have that set let's click on it again log out takes us to the following page say log in again and that's going to take us back here to where we were and something as well you can see we have a nice highlighted icon here appearing as well all right guys so that's just another Django scene that you can look into and if it's something that you like of course you can apply if you desire I have of course covered I think just about all of them now I think but um, yes anyway guys um, that's it on this video as always thank you for the support and I'll see you next time goodbye